At the end of Matrix Revolutions, the Oracle and the Architect reach an agreement regarding the humans who want out of the Matrix, a truce that the Oracle hopes will last as long as it can. After the credits rolled on Revolutions, it seemed that Neo became the hero from the prophecy, but an issue still lingers. We have mostly focused on the actions of the Oracle, ignoring one phrase that the Architect said to Neo. You are the eventuality of an anomaly which, despite my sincerest efforts, I have been unable to eliminate from what is otherwise a harmony of mathematical precision. What if everything that happens after Neo chooses to save Trinity was planned by the Oracle and the Architect to erase the anomaly once and for all? What if Neo wasn't the savior, but the final patch of the Matrix? Welcome to Matrix Explained. desert of the real. To better understand this theory, let's recap what the Architect and the Oracle are. The Architect is the self-proclaimed father of the Matrix. He created the Matrix, but his simulation was flawed because he had no understanding of human irrationality. Therefore, he needed the help of another intuitive program, the Oracle, who eventually adds choice to the equation for the first time. The Matrix was stable, but once the simulation was about to reach 100 years old, the eventual anomaly occurs, one that threatens to collapse the system, meaning that although the Matrix was more stable, it now had a serious flaw. Now, the Architect had two options to deal with the issue. Either restart the Matrix from scratch, go all the way back to the Beta Matrix, and try again to find the one perfect simulation, or continue the post-choice version. The previous simulations were so unstable that the Architect chose the latter. From this moment on, the Architect would try to eliminate this anomaly throughout each cycle. If the Architect has truly made an effort to delete the anomaly, he must have done changes to the Matrix, anything he could to prevent the anomaly from reappearing. But nothing was working. However, if the Architect was trying to eliminate the anomaly, it didn't seem that way in the sixth simulation. In the sixth simulation, the Architect is more of an observer. He doesn't interfere. This doesn't match his statement that he has tried to delete the anomaly. So either the Architect has accepted the anomaly as part of the simulation, or he has created a plan to permanently erase it from the system. A plan that could have been proposed by the Oracle. As she was the one who created the problem, she too could have created the solution. But what is the solution? The path of Neo. Neo must choose Trinity over Zion. He must be the first savior to turn his back on humanity. The first anomaly that will not choose to return to the source. For this to happen, Neo's love must be programmed differently than his predecessors. The ones before Neo loved humanity in general. But Neo loved Trinity more than anyone else. Your five predecessors were, by design, based on a similar predication, a contingent affirmation that was meant to create a profound attachment to the rest of your species, facilitating the function of the One. While the others experienced this in a very general way, your experience is far more specific vis-a-vis -vis love. Trinity. This is where the Oracle comes into play, with her cookies and prophecies. She manipulates Neo and Trinity into falling in love with each other. Neo is resurrected thanks to Trinity's kiss, which altered the path of the One. He accidentally copies part of the anomaly's code onto Smith, creating a second anomaly. Neo makes a deal with Deus Ex Machina, and together they destroyed Smith. It is done. And he dies, and his body is taken away by the machines. The truce has been established and Neo died a hero. But what if not? The Architect, with the help of the Oracle, was able to reach an understanding. The only way for the equation to continue is to cooperate with the Red Pills. The humans must choose to cooperate voluntarily, just as Neo did. The first step would be to use the false prophecy. The prophecy had been used in previous simulations to keep the inhabitants of Zion under control and lead the anomaly to the Architect. This time the prophecy changed after Neo sacrificed himself for everyone. The One becomes the savior of both humans and machines. The humans would continue to believe in the One 
and his prophecy or religion. Smith also fulfilled a role of the common enemy, the threat that united both enemy parties. But why would the architect go through all this trouble? What was his ultimate goal? By the end of the sixth cycle, the anomaly was expelled from the simulation, and Zion wasn't destroyed nor the Matrix rebooted, meaning that the cycle was broken and possibly the architect finally managed to eliminate the anomaly. The Matrix cycle will continue down a different path. If the architect's plan was to eliminate the anomaly and achieve 100% effectiveness, then the ending of Revolutions makes sense, the truce and the Oracle's actions, since she put herself at risk to help establish the truce. This brings us to a realization. If the truce and the idea that Neo is the savior are lies, the machines continue to be in control. Only now, they have created another layer of deception. This is how they work. First, they created the simulation, then Zion, then false ideologies and prophecies to maintain control. If this theory is true, the truce was made to avoid the reboot of the Matrix, to get Neo out of the way and have total control over humanity. The machines have won again. They tricked the humans into believing that they had a common enemy. The architect has reached 100% stability in the Matrix as his manipulative power has taken over the entire world. This could be the reason why Matrix 4 is a real thing. Because although the anomaly no longer exists, Neo's body was possibly reconnected to the simulation and somebody like the Merovingian could find him and wake him up to the truth that the Smith Crisis was a lie created to perpetuate the simulation and thus prevent the emergence of future anomalies. Yet there is still the question of who truly benefits from the truce. The machines, the humans, or the architect. What do you think I am? Human? But do you agree? Will a new anomaly arise or did the architect achieve his goal of eliminating it permanently? For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.